Hello friends, this video on data handling part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So based on these basic concepts of probability, let us try to answer a few questions. Question number one, tell whether the following is certain to happen, impossible, can happen but not certain. You are older today than yesterday. Now that is certain because with each passing day we are getting older. So this statement is certain because it has to happen. A tossed coin will land heads up. Now this is not certain to happen but it can happen. Now when we toss a coin it could be a head but it also could be a tail. So therefore it can happen. A die when tossed shall land up with eight on top. Now this is impossible. Can you tell me why? Because a die can only have six possible outcomes. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is no possibility of getting an eight. The next traffic light scene will be green. Now this is again can happen but not necessarily because the next traffic light could also be yellow, it could also be orange, it could be green. So we are not very sure that whether it will be green or not. Tomorrow will be a cloudy day. So that's again is something which can happen. We are not very sure it will be cloudy or sunny. So it is not very certain to happen. Question number two. There are six marbles in a box with numbers one, two, six marked on them. So let us say you have a box and you have six marbles. One, two, three, four, five and six. And they have been numbered like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. What is the probability of drawing a marble with number two? So what is the probability of getting a marble with number two? So possibility of getting a number two marble is one and total number of possibilities of getting a marble is six because there are six marbles. So there is a possibility you might get a one, a two, a three, four, five or six. Therefore the possibility of getting two is one by six. What is the probability of drawing a marble with number five? So possibility to draw a marble of number five is one and Total number of possibilities again is 6. So the probability of getting a marble with number 5 is 1 by 6. Question number 3. A box contains pairs of socks of two colors, black and white. So let us say this is a box and inside the box you have two pairs of socks. One pair is black and the other pair is white. I have picked out a white sock. So let's say you have already picked out this white socks. I pick out one more with my eyes closed. So basically now inside the box we have these three left. So we have one white and two black left. And let's say that you pick out one of these by closing your eyes. So what is the probability that it will make a pair? So basically we have to find out that what is the probability that the one which we pick up is a white one. Only then it will make a pair with the already picked white sock. Right? So in this case, the, what is the possibility of getting a white socks? Now, what are the different possibilities? So total possibilities, total possible outcomes. So let's say when you close your eyes and you try to pick a socks. So the total possible outcomes could be you can either pick a black socks or you could pick a white sock. So you will do one of these. So the total number of possible outcomes. So number of possible outcomes is two. And the probability of getting a white sock is one out of total number of possible outcomes which is 2. Therefore the probability of getting a white sock would be 1 by 2. So this would be the answer. So in this case you will have to think it in this way. First you have to find out the total number of possible outcomes. So in this case the possible outcomes could either be a black or a white sock. Therefore number of possible outcomes is 2 and the number of favorable outcomes that is number of outcome where you pick a white sock is 1. So your probability would be 1 by 2. 
so you see this is a very simple concept it is just that you need to answer the question well so that you know you can approach it in the right way so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson on data handling and i hope that this lesson would have helped you but i would request you to do the activities yourself for example try to draw bar graphs yourself try to draw double bar graphs yourself try to interpret uh, from the bar graphs and also try to solve more and more questions so that you gain confidence on the lesson so with this i'll conclude this lesson see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you